Well, it can be easy to fall for the charms of social media, the hunger for likes and the constant stream of influencer ads can be a recipe for financial ruin. I wanted to keep up with the Joneses. I liked nice things and I liked buying nice things all the time. Life's too short to worry about the little things and you've got to, got to splurge every now and again. They see, they want, they buy. So all out that photo's probably worth $10,000. They may have a picture-perfect life, but at what cost? Social media is really hurting our hip pocket. It just is like fast food. It's not very substantial or nutritious, so you've got to keep going back for another hit. If there was a new lipstick or a new handbag or a new Chanel fragrance, I had to have it. Mum of two, Angela Jean, spent a lot of time on social media following her divorce. Every day she'd be bombarded by images of what everyone else had. I enjoyed watching fashion bloggers wearing certain outfits and, you know, it's just so easy to click on whatever they're wearing, up comes the price, it takes you straight to the website and then from the website, if you like it, you basically, you're buying it. It was like an immediate satisfaction. That feeling didn't stick around, but the debt did, all $60,000 of it. I most definitely had fear of missing out, um, but it came at a cost, and that cost for me was stress, a lot of stress. We're connected all of the time, and we're constantly being reminded of what other people are doing, and that status envy and that constant downward comparing leads us to want to strive for this other life that's not our own. A growing number of Australians who see friends, family or social media influencers living the good life online develop a belief that spending will lead to happiness, according to psychologist Christine Bagley-Jones. You do get a little bit of a rush when you spend because your mind starts to release the dopamine and the serotonin that gets us all excited, but it's short-lived and the long-term consequences are quite devastating for some. What's worse, fear of missing out or being in debt? Fear of missing out. <laughs> and that's why 27-year-old Fiona Melville chose to go to America for six weeks when she really couldn't afford it. My brother said he was going to Disneyland and I said, you're not going without me. Um, so I got a loan. I think the trip all up cost about $8,000. That was all on credit. <laughs> You take those like 10, 20 shots to get that perfect one, post it on social media, and then you kind of wait to see, wait to see uh, for your friends to see it. Um, and then you get all those comments of them being jealous. So it makes you feel good that like, I can do that. Fiona says at one point her credit card debt skyrocketed to $20,000. So we're currently in the process of moving back into mum and dad's house so we can be in a better financial situation. Sometimes I regret going on those holidays because I'm like, oh, I'm like 27, I've got so much debt already. Australians spend around $63 billion a year on travel and experiences. And new research has revealed that nearly one third of jet setters fail to save ahead, giving them a holiday hangover. After the holiday is done, you then have this debt that you've got to be responsible for, but you don't have the thrill of the holiday to look forward to, so it can be very depressing. It can cost a bomb to keep up with, the, with appearances, and that debt can easily spiral. Find a money specialist, Taylor Blackburn, claims that's creating a debt tsunami. The first thing to do is get your head out of the sand and stop the bleeding. Once you have a, a handle on your budget, where the money is coming in, where it's going out, you can start to go in the right direction. It's sad that we have to look at other public figures and think, well, I wish I had their life, but their life isn't real and their life comes at a cost and they're influencers for a reason. They're influencing us to buy things that we don't need. Angela says being financially broken was the wake-up call she desperately needed. So I went back and I changed my life and I stopped spending. This mum is now working as a money coach for Best Financial Freedom, helping others who are in debt. So instead of ripping out the credit card to buy something else you've seen on Instagram that you like, think about the trip to Vietnam that you might want to have with your children and make that a goal.